Condolence call or something. Well, my dear, this is Africa. And in Africa, yes, we need calls like this in time like this. How does it help? It does. It's like healing, it makes you feel loved. You know, all I see are three warring sisters. Like we're literally alone. Wow. Oh my god. For the first time in her life, she just made sense. Wow. You know, if I didn't know how much you feared talking to me, I would have honestly thought you were talking to me. Come, both of you just allow me to have a quiet time with myself. Losing round with words would not help a dying man, you know. So much for my deceptive daughter. I can't believe this. I thought the doctor was specific in his assessment. He categorically said your father needed peace. Yes. Let him rest in peace. In a time like this, when everyone is praying and wishing your father, praying and wishing him well, Death is all you wish him? I'm the one seen as a bad blood, as a rebellious one. Just because I always speak my mind. <sighs> Tell me, deep down in our hearts, don't you all wish he was dead? How can you say that? How? He's a loving and caring father, and he has shown equal love to all of you. Can't you love him back? Oh, I love my dad to bits. I love him. But when I needed him to show me love, when I needed him the most, he betrayed me. Look, I want to make a grand entrance. You don't expect me to be there before anyone else. Come on, I am Cassandra Ofor, the daughter of Chief Douglas Ofor. They would be CEO of Ofor's holding. He betrayed you. How? By sending me to go study business administration. Like how am I supposed to be in the hands of affair? How will I control his business empire with that? How? So everyone should be seated and be ready for the designer package called Cassandra. <laughs> yes, babe. See you. Bye. Yes, this and many more actually. Why will he send me to study business administration when everyone knows that what I really want to do is become a musician? Oh now, Queen is useless. Oh now, I am the useless one just because I can't even do what I feel like. I can't run my father's business. I can't. You know, you went there. And you said absolutely nothing. Now listen, if you can fix it, then I will forgive him. Doctor said he will be fine. I mean, we all have him in prayers. Since when? Since forever. God. Yeah. After all the love your father showed on you girls, this is how you turned out to be? Oh. Turned out? Mom, I turned out fine. As you can see, I mean, I'm doing well. My family is proud of me. 
I'm doing all I can in my own little ways. Anyway, I actually came to ask you about that key. I mean, to his storage. But I can see you're busy, so I will look for it myself. Wipe your tears, mom. Hey, let me have that. <laughs> and do I look like the custodian of that property? That's... <laughs> That almost sounded funny. Seriously, especially when my younger sister is trying to be rude or funny. Yeah, a rudeness doesn't suit you. What do you need that khaki for? Oh, I see. You want to start selling off his properties, huh? Ah, big sister, why not wait? Wait till he dies first, now wait. I hope you know that the only reason why we are having this friendly banter is because dad is still alive. And when he dies, you will have to go through my lawyer to ever say good morning to me. <laughs> Your dreams. Why am I? conversation about making an entrance but I am sorry to burst your bubble this is that private car and you are not allowed to show off with it don't forget that was favorite daughter say so oh, I think you've forgotten that dad has actually long forgotten about you because you were not able to get a law degree. What did you even study? Business administration. <laughs> and you couldn't even be successful in a business as easy as bank selling. If I were you, my dear sister, I would bury my head in shame. Could you give me that key? Why me? What else? Baby. Let me have the key. What is going on here? No! What is going on here? You two. Can you both just kill yourself already? Like kill yourself so I can be the only surviving daughter to inherit all that properties. Just do it! Oh. Exactly what have I raised? Oh, you Monsters! Want you want to know? You better pray. Just pray that they read all that's will before he is buried. Or else, I won't be there to perform the dust dust right. I won't. Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> me to go to the university and I wonder what I was going to do with the certificate after graduation. Well no dad hired me in his firm and paid me a hundred thousand per month. So I wasted five years of my life in the university. How can you go equipping yourself a waste of time? Fashion. Fashion mom that's all I've ever wanted to do. I want to open a shop where everyone all over the world will come and shop. Working in one of my companies was to build you up. Dad, nobody has time for that anymore. Time is going. It's running on a very fast pace. Didn't I start you on business? You gave me 300,000 Naira, Dad. That's not even enough to buy me one designer bag. I was starting you up in life. Why would you want to waste your time doing that when you have already secured the future for us? 
Just hand us what rightfully belongs to us and let us move. Let peace reign. I have put all of you to the test. I have tried you in every area to see how zealous and committed you are. And I am sorry to say I don't have any right of fighting any of you. Well, maybe you tried them and they failed, but really you haven't tried me. So. I meant all of you. I started up a business for Cassandra. She failed. With how much? 300 and a million capital? That's not enough to buy me one Chanel bag in my wardrobe, Dad. Then let's just see if you choice in your wardrobe. Okay, please. How was I going to test? I sent you to go and study our language, the Igbo language. You had everything you needed. How did it turn out? What are you saying? Can you translate it into Igbo in language? At least I can say, Bia, Nyemeko, Papa Jesus. Meaning? Meaning, Bia gave me money and the blood of Jesus. I think you really do need the blood of Jesus in your life right now. He doesn't know how much I want to slay, how much I want to oppress my haters and kill them, how much I want to paint the town red. <sighs> And where am I in all of this? So what do I hold you so good to be sit? Can I sit? For the minutes, sit. Thank you. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Did you mean what you said about regretting? <laughs> Not going all out of your way to have a male child. It just, it just popped out. But I truly meant it. Now that's very heartbreaking. As heartbreaking as believing that I raised these monsters. All I is you want to sleep. You want to oppress the haters. You want to paint the town red. I've not heard, I've not heard you said anything about me and my house. Nothing. Of course you should know that why I'm going this hard is for two. I'm fighting for two. How is work? Work is fine. And how are you <laughs> lawyering your clients? <laughs> I don't regret putting in much effort to raise them with so much provisions. Even more than they needed. Should we blame ourselves for being rich? We can't blame ourselves for the way they turn out. Please don't give up on them just yet. They are our children. I am going to take you from zero to one hundred. I got you. And what about the old man, the other man? <clears throat> you need to miss my dad, though. I don't think I want to miss your dad. I'm a fly boy. You know fly boys don't walk. Talking about fly boy, where's my card? And how much shopping did you do? Hmm? You heard me. Ooh, I see you're very uneasy with my presence. Anyway, I'm going to save you the chills. Do you still work with my father? On legal matters, yes. Good. That's what I wanted to know. They can't blame me for their feelings. After all, there are many children who didn't have all the privileges they had. Please, my husband, my crown. Just give them a chance to be part of business. At least that will give them a sense of belonging. My dear, with every sense of responsibility, my answer is still in the negative. I've gathered you all here so we can put our differences aside. We were one big, united, happy family before now. What went wrong? <laughs> Because we realized that we were not meant to be one big happy family after all, so that was what happened. Honestly, coming out from the same womb doesn't really make us sisters, does it? With all Jesus went through, somebody betrayed him still. Yes, all of the Judases. You know, Dad just wants to be convinced that we're united. Don't worry, Mom. 
as the first child of this family, the Ada, I will coordinate my sisters. Queen! Queen! What is it? What is it? See me, I'm not in the mood for your wahala. What? You know there's nothing you can do to wash off the blood that flows in us. We are sisters. Blood sisters. Can we just give love and unity a chance in our lives? And can you not preach to me right now, please? What happened to those moments? Those moments where we will hang out together, share ideas, share material things. What happened? Those weren't real moments. This is reality. So let's face it. Then please, let's go back to those moments. Oh, you know me, I don't like you. Hello, Mom. Dad. Hey. I made some fresh juice for both of you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, could you please pass me the salt? I don't understand. It's been, it's pretending to be a nice part of all of this. Yes, it is. So pass me the salt. And I added a little bit of ginger just the way you like it. Thank you, but I'm afraid to drink it. No. I can pretend to like you, but taking orders from you. <sighs> and when will you stop being a bitch? When we all get back to being exactly who we are. Thank and you. lunch will be served soon. We'll be inside. Come on, what's going on? Are they planning my funeral? <laughs> Take. Thank you. Good girl. <laughs> oh, come on, honey. I serve a living God. You know, and I always pray to God to restore peace and harmony in this home, my family. Come on. Sure do so. Oh. Ah, so much joy. <laughs> Words are not enough to express my joy. Having mm. to see my lovely and beautiful family back again as one. Mm. Love. <laughs> oh, no. Well, let me <laughs> taste the food before I can mm. make any comment. Okay. Made this delicious meal. Oh, I, I made it. it. What do you mean? I made it. You mm. made it? I did. We did. Yeah, we made it together. Mm. <laughs> Most important thing is that your food is delicious. You <laughs> made it together. <laughs> yeah. So oh, let's see my pot. Your food is delicious. <laughs> well, then something good is happening. <laughs> what are your children up to? How do you mean? My instincts never lie to me. Whatever game they're playing, I'm really enjoying it. Because I know it won't last. Honey, please, just be happy and stay alive for us. For once, I'm afraid. Hey, Mom. Hello, darling. Excusez-moi. <laughs> you don't mind? I'd like to have a talk with my dad. Please. OK, darling. I'll be in the house. OK. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Dad. How are you? I'm good, my queen. So, um, if you don't mind, we need to um, have some really important discussions. Okay. Go ahead. I'm listening. Um, Dad, I know you're not in like a hundred percent support of my music career, but that still didn't stop me from writing a song for you. Mm hmm. You wrote a song for me? Absolutely. Wow. That's very thoughtful of you. Um, how much am I supposed to pay for that? How about Dad? Everything shouldn't be monetized. <laughs> Let's just say I'm a core businessman. <laughs> Still, in life, everything shouldn't be about money. Coming from you? 
I will totally agree to disagree. Why? I want to see where you're going with this. <laughs> Absolutely nowhere. Like, I only wrote an amazing song for my precious dad. All right, let's hear it. Mom, what are you doing here? Your father is beginning to suspect there's a foul play. Of course there's a foul play, Mom. <laughs> He's right, after all. Is there something you want us to do? I want you all to always speak in one voice. One of you must stand in as a leader. Power intoxicate, Mom. To complicate things. You were right when you said eyes on the prize. It doesn't matter how we win, but winning we must. There must be a way to figure out things without raising dust. Sure. We have it under control. Good for you. Thank you. How do we play this tactfully without failing? I suggest. Oh, you suggest what? No one made you a chairman of speaking one voice committee. I'm sorry if my guts offend you. I am vocal and manipulative. Can we focus, please? I'm sorry, but pretense isn't my thing. Pardon my shortcomings. It's not about pretense. It's the fact that you're not a peacemaker. You know, pretense has always been your thing. That's how you went and slayed my boyfriend and pretended like you didn't know he was mine. Get over it. It's millennium ago. It still doesn't change the fact that it happened. And just so you know, I haven't forgiven you. Oh! That is not why we're here. Look, we need to move forward. Daddy. And a huge pack from me. Mm. Mm. Yes, and a warm embrace and possibly sing you to bed, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> For this song, I don't know when we're going to sing you. Soon. Soon. Maybe tonight. I have never stopped loving you. We love you too, Daddy. We love you too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> so sweet. So sweet. A family that plays together blossoms together. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to sleep with my eyes closed? <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. I'm so happy to witness this moment. This is reliving our dreams. Yeah, I can say that again. <laughs> Hey, can I borrow your face wipes, please? Excuse me. See, the deal was to pretend to live in peace and unity. Was to pretend to like you, not to borrow things. Please. Sorry I asked, please. You can say that again. Sit down, dear. Ah. <clears throat> ah, I have never felt this healthy and happy. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> My home is now a sanctuary of peace and harmony. Yeah, God is at work. <laughs> I asked the lawyer to come in after work. What for? It's a secret. So, we're friends now, right? 
I can confide in you and you confide in me? Ah, well, it depends on what we have to confide about each other. What's my heart? I want to review and make changes in my will. Can you review my father's will with me? Oh, I can scream for joy. Still a secret. I believe they've come to their senses. Honey, you make me so proud. And you make me even prouder. He has someone in charge, not me. What? You mean my father has another lawyer we're not aware of? Behind every successful man, there's a great woman. <laughs> oh, I'm blushing. Thank you so much for the sweet words. You're welcome, dear. Trust me. There are a lot of things you didn't know about your father. The sex wasn't even good after all. We are one step ahead. You put up a show of shame of this magnitude. What if your dad had heard your shouting? Your shouting? That just took place some hours ago. Huh? I don't care, really. Well, he believes that you have all changed for good. And the good news is, he has called his lawyer to amend his will. So suck up your differences and play all. Born my father's multi billion man empire. Mm, I'm sure you. right in the middle of that will, my name is boldly written as the MDA and CEO of that company. You wish. So, chill. Sure. <laughs> this is not about who gets what or who doesn't get what. Just stay focused. There's someone at the door that can just be a lawyer. So, stay focused. <clears throat> still be alive. Your you father came up with that phrase, mind your business, definitely knew what they were saying. Will you three monsters leave me alone to mourn in peace? Or am I not allowed to agree? He was my husband, loving and caring. So please leave me alone. And he was my father, manipulative, but principled. You what? <laughs> Please. You know what? If I don't know both of you, I really wish to pretend when the real mourners start coming. Get it. 
hold up your sex. Shouldn't you be morning? Morning? Yeah. I can't be morning. I mean, people just mourn poor people because they die in vain, not achievers like my father. But why are you someone who works in a nurse? We really need to act like you was really missed. Don't you get it? Look, I'm tired of pretending, all right? Like they say, let the dead bury themselves. And the book that said that was the Bible. Your constant touch is dreadful. I am harmless. <sighs> what you ask of me is beyond me. I know there is something you can do. None that I know of. There is nothing impossible on earth. Hi. Good day, Mom. Good day. I'm really sorry for your loss. Please accept my condolences. Thank you. And who are you? Who is oh, this? Oh. This is my boyfriend, Pete. I mean, in the will of the dead seems very impossible to me. Don't forget that I am a lawyer myself. And why not practice it? It's personal. Um, Mom, please, could I have one of those um, keys? I would like to drop him off. But there are other cars in the compound. I'm not a park. I'm a patriot and a professional. One of the best around town. That is why I'm a late father's right hand man. You have all the time to think about my proposal. You got my answer. Have yourself a nice day. And you too. You're grieving with a lot of paperwork. What do you want? Mom, come on. I mean, this is not a time to frown and fight. We just lost our dear daddy. This is a time for us to come together, to be united and... And you, what? You... I begged you all. I begged you to give him peace so he could live longer. But no. You all are the reason for his ill health. He was disciplined, stern, but very fragile at heart. Ah, he loved you kids more than his properties. It broke his heart to see you, to see you all live wayward lifestyles. He wanted the best for you, but now he's gone. Does it matter? Yeah, mom, he's gone and, and he'll greatly be missed. Um, Mom, I wanted to find out if, you know, there's some sort of responsibility, you know. I really want to know what tradition demands from me as the first child. Nothing, dear. You just grieve as a sign of respect. No. no. Anyway, you know, Mom, you're not, you're not used to tradition. Because I know that as the Ada, there are certain things that... You know, that the tradition demands of me. There are certain things I should do. But of course, like I said earlier on, nothing much. It's just for you to grieve. It's a sign of respect. I called all of us out here as one family. You know, my father, Chief Douglas, Oh. Am I supposed to sit here and watch all this drama? <laughs> Cassandra, what is it? Oh, it wasn't a crying competition. <laughs> oh, you, know, you three will never cease to amaze me. Well, 
as the Ada of this family. What's that? Oh, Who that's that? that's your new name, right? That is my chief Tennessee title as the first child of this family. Baby, it's not a cheat as a title. It's a title. Now, be that as it may, I have thought out how to bury my father. You know, my father was a strong man. He was a great achiever, resilient, hard working. He cannot be buried like a nobody. So I have made out plans on how to give him a befitting burial. So, what do you propose? Okay, um, I'll be needing, you know, about 30 million dollars. <laughs> You know, whoever made you the chairman for the Dead Man's Planning Committee has done the greatest mistake of their lives. I'm not listening to this crap. Half a million? Really? <laughs> <sighs> Just 30 million? Mom, you're more experienced. So. What do you think? I don't believe you. Really? Look, we need to act fast, okay? Whatever plans we have has to be fast. My sisters are up to something. I don't know what it is. How are you so sure of that? Look, for once, she now calls herself Someone with a chieftaincy title. A chieftaincy title? Yeah. She calls herself Ada. Come on, as Raz. As Raz as that sound, it sounds like a plan. Come on, babe. We need to sit down and plan. Okay. After that, the lawyers will read his will, right? Tomorrow? But why the short notice? Hmm. I need to start planning on what I'm going to wear. Because I'm going to be wearing Gucci from head to toe. Hmm. Your father suddenly realized that all his investments concerning you three were not going to work. It broke his heart. <laughs> Regardless of what we have put in to make sure you girls turned out well, but you turned out so badly. So hold on, Mom. Are you saying his business is in ruins? Does it matter? I mean, Dad worked so hard, and I'm sure he's gathered enough, and whatever is remaining will be able to go around, right? You three were his most prized investments. He always looked forward to working with his head high concerning three of you. But you failed him woefully. Mom, my mom is when is the lawyer reaching that square? 
Because I wasn't joking when I told you I will not be available to do the dust to dust rights if I don't know what dad is willing to me. So what have you come up with? It might not be what you expect, but to serve them just right. What is the grave of the consequences? Pretty grave. Does it involve blood? Come on, this is my family I'm talking about. I don't want blood on my hand. It is time to act fast. I am the first daughter, and traditionally I have a huge part to play. I am supposed to be the father of the house, even though I am a woman. Yes, I am the head of the family. If there is no will, then tradition comes to play. Then I automatically become the head of the family. Hey, mom, where are you headed? I want to see the lawyer. I'll be very brief. If anybody comes asking for me, let me know. Okay. My regards to him. Okay, I will. <laughs> Ah, oh, baby. You yeah. I just discovered that your late father's lawyer has been murdered in cold blood. What? Mm. But does that stop anything? I mean, <sighs> you've been married to dad for over 30 years. You should know everything about his properties and assets. Your dad was a highly principled man. He did things the way he didn't fit and is unquestionable in that regard. Oh, come on. My options are limited. Oh, you can't say that. <sighs> you are his wife. I mean, you should have documents to all his properties, or rather, you should know where he kept them. Yeah, I'm aware he had a vault in the UK where he kept his paperwork. But I don't have to get to the UK first before I can access process assessment. Mom, what are you trying to say? Are you in any way insinuating that nothing can be done? No. Just because his lawyer is dead? No, no, I haven't said that. It's just that I have to respect the dead man's wish, his will. You're welcome, ma'am. It's nice to have you stop by. And once again, please accept my condolences. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. I must say I am proud of your efforts so far. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Um, your late father, God rest his soul. He was a role model to me. I mean, I've learned everything there is to learn about how to be a successful businessman and how to run a conglomerate like Douglas Holdings. All that is left is for me to just put the expertise back in the company. That's good to know. How is business generally? Booming. Business is booming. I mean, the subsidiary companies sent in their report every fortnightly. That way we're able to monitor their progress from here. Interesting. Once again, accept my condolences. Oh, please, spare me all the condolences, him and Sema. That is not why I am here. Okay. I need to know how to move my father's business forward because I'm thinking of taking over immediately. Your mother was here a few days ago and we talked about that and many other things. And her idea to take over wasn't bad at all. However, I still have to put her through. My mother was here? Oh, yes. Yes, she was. Oh. All right, then. I would let you in on whatever the family decision is. Thank you, sir.
Hey baby, yeah, I already have some things online and I will need some cash. I will transfer cash to you if payment can wait till tomorrow. That's fine, please do the transfer, Michael. I love you, right? Mom, can I have a word with you? Go ahead, I'm all ears. Who is it? Who is at your door by this time of the night? Room service, I guess. Alright, let me check. What documents have you been able to gather? You know, I think we really need to start from where that stopped. I mean, we need to salvage things. But there's nothing to be salvaged. Mom, look, I'm trying so hard here. Trying to what? To make things work. If you had done that much earlier on, your dad would still be alive. I know, I know I made some mistakes, but I've realized them and I'm ready to make amends. As the first child of this family, I need to set the record straight. But you don't need my permission to do that. You are sitting on my position. I'm sitting on your position? Yes, Mom. I mean, you need to hand over completely. You need to be resting, mourning your husband. I, I, I need total control. I even heard you went by the office and had discussions with them without letting me know. How? How could you, Mom? How? Can I go back to my paperwork now? Thank you. Hello? What is it now? Why won't I sleep? Look at the time. Who is this? I am Sam Oprah, the manager of Douglas Wayne. So? Because you work for my dad's company, it doesn't give you a right to call me at 7... 7.45 a.m. for goodness sakes. I don't work for you. Can I just rest? I call her phone, don't disturb me, I beg. Please, it is urgent. Next time you use Queen, not in Kitchi. Please. Just hold on, let me see if she's up. Mom, good morning. Dad's manager wants to speak with you. Yeah. Mom? 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 Mom, please don't do this. Cassandra! Mom, 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 please don't do this. Mom, mom, please, 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 wake up, mom, please don't do this. Aren't you supposed to be grieving? I still cannot believe mom is gone. Did she have any ailments or disease that we're not aware of? Maybe we should run an autopsy check on her. No. We don't need to pass that message. Why? Did you kill mom? 
<gasps> That's such an awful thing to say. How could you accuse me of, of killing my uh, uh, please don't even cry on me. I am not your boyfriend. And I don't like you enough to even care if you cry all day or not. I'm just in total shock. I still can't believe it. You don't have to believe anything. You know, I'm really scared living in this same house with both of you. So... You know something? I actually ransacked everywhere in Mom's room. I couldn't find one document. But I know that thing you smoke is what is talking from your mouth, so... I need a report from the finance department. I need to know the inflow and the expenses. I, 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 will, I will bring that, ma'am. But, but please, ma'am, um, have you been able to review the report from my team? I will do that, but I need the report from the finance department first. Okay, ma'am. I'll, I'll get on it. Thank you. Look who is already assuming the position of a CEO. Well, what are you doing here? I need a permission to resume work at my father's office. Uh -huh. Interesting. So this is what you two are fighting okay. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> See who already is feeling like a boss. So this is why you killed mom. Enough of this nonsense. The next time you accuse me of what I don't know about, I'll make sure I sue you for defamation of character and you will spend your life in jail. Try any shit with my life. And I will make your life unbearable for you. Can we have some silence? This is an office of environment and we need some decorum. Thank you. Like, who is that man? That feels look familiar. I don't know him, I told you. You? What are you going to? I don't know, I need to ask him some questions. Where have you been? I've been waiting for you since. For you? I don't know him. Who what are you? What are you looking for? Looking for what? What do you mean? Go and make money before you talk to I me. Go and make money before you take my money. Why do you allow this small boy to be following you around? Please. Small boy. I've been Come. waiting for oh. you, yes. Ciao. Go, 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 go. Beat. Well, mind if I tidy up your room now. It's noon already. Who was the man with you at the poolside last night? A client, I guess. Look, I brought you to Lagos from Sapele. I got you this job so that we can be close to each other. I think I deserve a better explanation. Like you explain your every move with the other girl. Don't even go there. And don't refer to her as the other girl. She's the reason why we keep up. Our money bag. Our ATM. Don't talk like that. Wait, Beth. Do you mean I, I, I shouldn't be jealous or possessive of you? I don't understand. Don't change the subject. Don't. You know what I'm talking about? Well, like I said, he's just a clown. Now you know, I beg. I cannot even remember his face. That's your problem. So can I clean the room? Okay. You can't be jealous. <laughs> you can't be <laughs> jealous. <laughs> Come, she. What's going on here? I beat you to your own game. That is what is going on here, baby. Cassandra, come on. I thought we had an agreement. What agreement? <laughs> Queen is a troublesome and rebellious one. I mean, she's a stranger amongst us. Oh, come on, Cassandra. This does not suit you. The battle for supremacy is between you and I, not Queen. However, she has nothing to say to this. She's our younger sister. And as your elder sister, allow me to control things. Henceforth, we're going to be sharing this space. Oh, Cassandra. Don't be an old dad has worked for. Look at Dad's favorite child. And you think you can run this huge business all alone? Girl, we are going to share this space together. God knows why he made me your elder sister. I am your elder sister because I am capable of handling things. So let me. Hmm. You better get a seat and sit down. We're going to be sharing this office.
Carl. There are lots of cards in this compound. That is the list of my problem. Why is this door locked? What do you mean? Queen! Queen! Why does she love us? I don't care what she's up to. But I need to get to work today. Why are you girls so disrespectful to your elder sister? Oh, please stop playing the elder sister card. It's not working. If I don't get to the office today, things will get ruined. Trust me, the business has been running before you were born. All right. Try this nonsense with me. I'll make sure I'll beat the hell out of you. You ladies had your sister moment at work yesterday, didn't you? And today I decided, you, you know what? I needed the office all oh. to myself. Oh, you are playing with fire. And you know, my dear sister, fire has a very strong content. And that is water. And like I said, today was fun with what she does. Queen's death really shocked me. It beats me. Even though I never really liked her, we are still family. She was my sister. Yo, three down, one more to go. That's all I see. Don't make jokes about this. No, though. I'm talking about my family. See, could I be you who is dead? You should be thanking me, the flower boy. You're thanking me. Yes. When we were young, my parents basically took Queen as their favorite daughter. They gave her everything she ever wanted. They didn't treat us like their kids. Do you know Queen traveled with my parents as a child all over the world? Maybe because she was the last child? No. The wind blew and Bibi became their favorite. Maybe because she's the first child? Look, don't get me wrong. They never maltreated us or anything. We never lacked anything. Okay? They showered us with everything that we ever wanted. That's when they realized that they were treating us unequally. But, you know, the jealousy and the envy has already built up. So... I'm so scared to go back to that house. Sorry, I came to clean you. I've been seeing you a lot around here. Who are you? Well, I was assigned to his room. You know he's a premium custom and I'm the best waitress here. A client deserves nothing but the best. Well said. You know, we've been here for like seven months and we'll be paying our bills. We sort of did, you know, deserve some special treatment. So I could be that I need. Go ahead. Okay. Oh. Wow. So how do you cope all alone in this house? Oh, well, I've been more focused on work. Yeah. That's nice. I miss you, Cassandra. Come back home. Come back to work. <laughs> Honestly, 
I miss your troubles. Yeah. I can't. I mean, the mystery surrounding this house, the death of dad, mom, and now queen. I can't. I miss them. I do. Me too. I know. It's okay. So, where is um the gate man? They don't. Um. You know, I'm trying to get a new beginning, so I'll be changing a lot of things. Um, Nido had to leave. Oh, okay. So how is work? Oh, couldn't be better. <laughs> so nice. Ah, sorry. Go ahead. I, I brought this for you. Well, thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I have to go fix a quick dinner. Okay. It's fine, right? I'll Trust me, you your favorite. <laughs> Welcome once again. Oh, I'll see you. Mm -hmm. I won't eat. No, you mustn't. I don't trust Why her. Why can't I eat? She's she just being dramatic and pretentious. I don't trust her. And you must not eat everything you see. What about a drink? Hi. Hey. I've been looking everywhere for you. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I was feeling sleepy upstairs, so I decided to come here, finish some work. I've got loads of them, as you can see. No, yeah. I bought you some coffee, so. Thank you. Yeah. I'll take it when I'm done. Okay. <laughs> wow, you're wearing mom's nightwear. And I saw upstairs you already moved into her room, too. You've really changed a lot here. Do you like? Yeah. Anyway, you need to stop working too much and get a man. You need to quit the celibacy, seriously. Yeah. I'm married to my work for now. Men can't wait. See you. Thanks for the coffee. Okay, I'll see you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I guess your coffee is cold by now. You can have mine. And this place look unusually quiet. I like it. It is because it doesn't feel like living. I mean, I miss all the fights and unending arguments with everyone. I... I know you'll be fine, babe. I know. Come here. Come. I know you'll be fine. Just come. You won't die on me, baby. Just sleep on. And you look a lot more beautiful when you sleep this quietly. And I'm gonna miss you. Pete! Pete! <coughs> but... I'm sorry, baby. I had to do what is best for me. I know you love me, but I never loved you. All I wanted was money, and you gave that to me without hesitating. Thank you for the good times. The girl you saw at the hotel, the waitress, she's my fiance. I brought her all the way from Sapele and secured her that job so she could live next to me. And she spent every other night in my room whenever you were not around. There's no way I would have been married into your family because you all are so bloody and greedy. I'm sorry to break your heart, but I have moved a few valuables from your family house, got a few documents to some very valuable stuff, and I will have been to meet her by the time you are awake. Thanks for cleaning your sister. It makes things a lot easier. Kama is the beach, baby. Bye. No! Pete! Oh my god! Oh, 
This is all I've always wanted to do with every of this without a boyfriend. My whole family is gone. I killed my own sister. What is life without dignity, self-esteem, all of which I have lost to this journey? Maybe I should just join others. God, please accept our souls. This guilt is too much for me to bear. It's too much.